Good morning. New day, different island. We're taking advantage of the hammock for the one time before we leave. And um, what else? We're headed to Kokraden with a long tail boat. I think it should be around 40 minutes, 45 minutes. With the speed boat, I guess it's like half an hour. But um, yeah, I wanted to take the long tail boat just to, you know, a little slower ride. I'm gonna miss this little resort, it's so cute. Little hammocks. This was a nice day, I'm not even gonna lie, with the little reggae bar in the front. Shit was vibey, the vibey. I'm so excited for today. I'm, I'm always excited, every day I wake up excited. We got adventure plans ahead of us. So I was organizing my stuff and then um, I opened up my like electronic little baggie and motherfucking a frog just jumped out of it. So I'm assuming he got in there yesterday and then I zipped it up and Buddy was probably suffocating in there all night. But uh, he's free and here's a little clip. Oh my God. <laughs> Buddy was stuck in this bag. <laughs> Holy shit, buddy, buddy, what were you doing in my bag, huh? I want to show you guys how I put the backpack on. <laughs> so I sit down, I get mentally prepared, and I start with one handle. Oh. And I stand up. And then just like that, we got our backpack. So we're currently waiting for a ride, but what better place to wait for a ride than body? body. I can't believe I'm here. I'm in shock. One of these gotta be the ride. Alright, here we go, baby. Thank you. This is nice. This is nice compared to what I've been in for the past two weeks. Goddamn. This is home for the night? All right then. All right, first things first, food. Food, baby, food. Because I'm starving. Let's do this. This is such a cute kitchen. All right, we got some curry masala with some rice. This was 200 Thai baht. I don't know how much the rice is. 
This shit looks delicious. Oh my fucking god. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Well, it looks like everyone's leaving, so we'll have the island to ourselves, hopefully. Do you guys see this? Do you guys see this yumminess? I think this is gonna be my first time trying curry mus on. Okay, let's try this. Mm hmm. Shit's delicious. So good. Yeah. Delicious. Wow. Yeah. We're just gonna pour this shit all over. What a meal, what a great breakfast meal. Okay, so my plan is today is to try to visit as much beaches as I can. It's such a small island, that's why I'm only staying one night. And then on top of that, it's really pricey here. Um, my little resort place is 55 for the night. This is the most expensive accommodation I've paid for so far in Thailand and I definitely I wanted to try at least just once just because I hear it's been voted like one of the most gorgeous beaches in the world and I'm here so you know I had to experience that shit firsthand. Thailand is such a perfect um country to solo travel because everything is so easy here they make it like you could be the dumbest person on earth and if you want to get to one place to another in thailand there's no way you can't comprehend it because there's tour offices like everywhere every single corner so you can book things with them or you can use the main websites which is like i know there's one two one two asia.com and then there's um speedaway um, there's like a few websites you can also book any type of transportation on those websites if you don't if you're so lazy or not lazy if you want to do it the smart way you just book it through the hotel or resort that you're staying at this and it's usually cheaper that way and not only is it cheaper but they come to pick you up and then I also asked him about how to get here to train because I'll be going up to Bangkok and trying to get to the other side of the islands and the only way to get through there is through Bangkok and then go down. So um, it's really inconvenient because I don't want to go to Bangkok yet, but that's the only way to get to Koh Chang, Koh Mook, Kumak, Komak, and um, Koh Kud. Today I'll try doing some snorkeling and then maybe some swimming, then some sunset gazing, and then, you know, take myself out on a nice little date little dinner date um we're gonna try to find like a nice restaurant here it's probably all local but you know the food is great everywhere so yeah so let me finish this i don't know what day it is anymore and the month the months are irrelevant it's january What's that matter, you know? So I'm really thinking about waking up to watch the sunrise here tomorrow. That would be really cool. But let's see if I wake up. The amount of rice she gave me, I'm so full. I'm pretty sure that was like a serving for four people. My favorite time of the day, coconut time. I think my plan after Thailand is to go to Laos and then into Cambodia and then do maybe a month in Vietnam. I'm not sure yet, but I guess we'll see. Let's do a little room tour. All 
All right, this is all me for the night, baby. Let's go. We got a nice little deck. Do a little ocean gazing. This is my view. All right, so we got a nice little cozy couch. Pretty spacious room. Gotta have a mosquito net, of course. Look at that bed. Is it comfy? Oh, so it is. It's all right. We'll manage. We're gonna manage. And we got our fan, of course. Little storage. Gotta have the coat hanger. And... Okay, this is cute. Actually, we got some sun in the bathroom. Ooh, okay then. We're officially heading out. Gonna go explore the beaches, go for a nice little swim, do it all. Maybe snorkel a little bit. Okay, first thing first, we're gonna do a little snorkeling at this beach. That was a nice little swim. Saw some fishes. Um, expected more, but um, maybe at the next ocean or something. I hope I'm heading in the right direction, but there's this little trail. I'm expecting this to lead to the next beach. Hopefully there's no crazy snakes or anything out here. Freaking nice out here. I'm so glad I decided to do a one day here. Where is this trail leading to? What the fuck? Okay. Where are we going? I feel like I'm gonna get bitten by a snake out here. Yeah, I'm going back. I'm going back. I don't know where I was going. All right, turns out I was going the right way. No, no, no. No? No, no, no. Guess not. Other way. Okay, straight this way? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you so much. One way. Yeah, one way. Just keep going? <laughs> Wh where? What? This way? Yeah. <sighs> oh. Paradise lost? Yeah, sir. Sure. Uh, okay, thank you so much. It's just the only place you could get lost here. Okay, it makes sense. <laughs> Ooh, a little hiker to get to the beach. <sighs> okay, we finally made it out. I think that was like a 15, 20 minute hike. Holy shit, look at this view though. God damn. Oh my God. Holy shit. Ain't no way I'm here right now. I swear I'm dreaming. Look at this. Holy shit, wow. Oh my goodness. Holy shit. 
Alright, we're looking for a snorkeling spot. I just asked that lady back there if it was fun to snorkel here. She said not that many fishes. But if I keep walking this way, we'll find something. There's a good area over down there. I should have stayed at one of these resorts, but these are probably the ones that are like a hundred above. Empty. Okay, so I was just talking to a guy that's been here for a few days and he was saying that there's a bunch of jellyfish out here and that his girlfriend got stung on her lip. So I'm really freaking nervous. But we're gonna do it anyways. We, I see a bunch of people over there snorkeling, so might as well try, take our chances, take a risk. Okay, found a spot. I'm gonna head in. Uh, pray that I don't get stung by a jellyfish. I have never gotten stung by a jellyfish, so that will be new. Um, let's try it. Okay, I could say with confidence that this is probably one of the most top three exquisite views that I've ever seen. This shit is nice. I just did a little stumble in front of this couple. <laughs> they looked like they were gonna laugh, but um, they didn't. <laughs> Thank you for not laughing. We are gonna head back and trying to make it there in time for sunset. I think the sunset is around 6.30. And it's six right now. I should make it like right on time or a few minutes late or early. I'm high off of nature right now. Everybody got their own little thing. Me? Place me in a random island. Place me in a random island? That's the key to my happiness, okay? So, um, just letting you guys know, we're here, we're just gonna keep pushing it, we're just gonna keep island hopping. I think island hopping is not such a bad idea, you know? So, we gotta do that hike again to get home to go watch the sunset. So, here we go. Fucking damn it, my goddamn shoe. Where's sneakers in the jungle, please? Oh, my God. I'm not doing this hike back. No way I'm going back there tonight. This is that vacation exercise, you feel me? Somehow, some way, when you're on vacation, you're just like naturally more fit. Why? Because you want to go out there in the world and do a little walking, a little hiking. Because it's, it's beautiful. But, you know, when you live in such boring places sometimes in the world, it's hard to do that. Because you don't appreciate that shit. So, am I going the right way? I should pay attention. I never cease to amaze myself in the random activities that I get into. Even if that means hiking in the jungle with a bathing suit on, some mules, trying to chase the sunset. Oh my god, there's light. There's light at the end of the tunnel. We made it back just on time. I'm ready for a coconut in the sunset.
when I say I'm at the beach alone, I literally have the beach to myself right now. I'm loving it. And when I tell you that I've dreamt of this day, I'm all effing dreamt of this day. I got front row tickets to the ocean alone. Only tickets. So let's go have a nice little seat, why don't we? Ah, fucking damn gorgeous. This is my favorite island. Okay, I say this about every island. This one's my favorite, for sure. Um, wow. Lovely ass beach. I love you, Thailand. We gotta, you know, give our love back. You know, the appreciation. Just taking a little coconut break and a pineapple pancake break. I'm excited for that. Oh, yay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Excited. Look at this. The quality right now. Let's get to it. Some Thai syrup. Here you go. Let's try this masterpiece. Oh, this looks so good. Oh my god. I already know it's good. Mm. No exaggeration, best pancake I've had in Thailand so far. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna devour this all in maybe one more minute. Okay, all done. Okay, so I was gonna go back and do that hike again and go to a different beach, but your girl got tired. So we're just waiting for some food now. Chilling on the deck. And you know, vacation vibes. So spoiling myself with some food. I think I'm gonna wake up super early to see the sunrise tomorrow. But yeah, since I'm waking up early tomorrow, I'm gonna get some early rest. I'm definitely gonna have to do this island one more time in the future, maybe, I don't know. But I have to come back to this island. This is like a must. It's so cute here. And it's sad that I'm only spending one night here because um, it would have been nice for like two more days just to relax and kick back. But um, yeah, we're going to move on to the next spot. Oh, oh, yay. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Is that a pineapple? We got our noodles. And can never forget the coconut. Let's eat. It's good, it's yummy. So I've been in Thailand for about three weeks now. It feels longer than that, but only three weeks. It's like the perfect late night snack. It's not late, but it feels late. I love how they put like fresh cucumbers on the side of like every meal. 
Okay, so we're gonna see if I'll be able to wake up early enough to go watch the sunrise tomorrow. But I think I'm gonna head to bed pretty early. All done. Pineapple time. Delicious fresh fruit. Thailand pineapple. Perfect. There's no better dessert than fruit. Nothing. Nature's candy. I'm destroying this pineapple right now. Okay, last coconut of the day. Is a damn early one for me because it's only um, it's only eight thirty seven. So 